that project monitoring and control using PC from local substation. This unit is at the home appliance home actually. This is the energy meter interface to the home plane and this system is interfaced to the PC at the substation unit. There is a transmitter and this is the receiver path. So at the transmitter unit which is at the home plane consists of an energy meter, a CD current transformer and this is a control unit which is interfaced with the motherboard with the microcontroller unit. Initially as you on the power supply unit, as you on the power supply unit, so here for the microcontroller unit you require around 5 volts DC. So from the mains power supply I will be giving a 230 volts AC. So 230 volts AC step down to 12 volts AC and here we are going to convert AC to pulsated DC output using a bridge rectifier and capacitor filter uh, removes the AC component and gives a pure DC and then the regulator gives me a 5 volts of constant voltage to the microcontroller and this LED indicator is an indication of the power supply flowing to 5 volts to the controller. And now here this is the energy meter initially at the home or like home to give a power supply unit in a regular manner. So here from the energy meter flows to the current transformer and then enters to the home appliances. So here this information is directly fed to the controller here. Suppose if any person wantonly tappers here, the power supply flows only from the current transformer and not from the energy meter. So in this unit wantedly in the demo kit you are going to remove this plug-in which is nothing but a fuse output from the energy meter. So here from the energy meter and the current transformer I am going to interface optocoupler switches nothing but these act like a switching unit to the microcontroller and this acts like protecting device also to the microcontroller not to enter a high voltage power supply to the controller. And here this is a transmitter RF transmitter and this is the RF receiver. RF transmitter for every one second of delay gives the input to the RF receiver and this RF receiver always checks the out input from the RF transmitter and here you are going to have interfacing unit to the PC through MAX232 IC and RS232 cable. This is the RS232 cable. So in PC you are going to get the update data like OK, OK, OK indicating that this is the power power supply that is flowing according to the energy meter without any tamping. So now this is the RS232 cable. So from which from the controller you are going to send the data to the PC and this is the MAX232 IC which is nothing but a voltage divider unit. So this converts like uh, voltage stabilizing from 12 volts to 5 volts and 5 volts to 12 volts. And here now automatically when I remove the tampering unit so if I so if I remove the unit nothing but fuse is out. Now you are making the wanted tapping at the house only. So now initially the bulb nothing but the load gets turned off using the relay switch and RF transmitter transmits the information and from the receiver you get the data to the PC like power test has been happened at so and so location please check. In this way it automatically gives the indication and this okay. information will be continued till 8 seconds of delay and within the 8 seconds of delay if the person again again puts up the fuse then automatically it checks for the next second and as I restart it nothing but the system gets in a normal mode and then again on the PC load gets on and again on the PC you get the information like OK, OK, OK indicating that now it's under a normal mode of power supply consumption.